G'day guys, how you going? Spanners Germ 669 here for the House of Horror, week 89, Friday review. So hopefully you're all doing very well and you've enjoyed the uh, reviews from the other fantastic YouTubers that make up this great channel. Um, today I have chosen to review a French horror film, French language, English subs. This was released in 2009, so it's part of the new wave of French horror, directed by David Mollet, and this film is called Mutants. And the story is as follows. In a world devastated by a pandemic virus that turns human beings into primitive and bloodthirsty creatures, Marco and Sonia set off to find a secret base to escape from the mutants. When they are attacked, Marco becomes contaminated, and little by little begins to undergo the same changes as the other creatures. Sonia, pregnant with her first child, must somehow fight off the hordes and force herself to fight the man she once loved. So we have a, um, it's set in France and France has been contaminated with this deadly virus that turns people into these deadly mutants. So at the start of the film we have Marco and Sonia, they're travelling in an ambulance with a woman from the army and they're trying to get to a base called Noah. Now this Noah base is the refuge for all survivors. So they know it's out there but they know they just can't find where it is. So they're travelling in this ambulance, one thing leads to another and the woman from the army is taken out and Marco ends up becoming contaminated by some of this deadly mutant blood so you know they're in a real pickle here um, Sonia and Marco they don't know what to do they're running out of gas in the ambulance so they take refuge in this abandoned um, building now the different thing with this virus it's not an immediate change the transformation takes place over three to four days so it's very very slow and this gives Sonia some hope now she is trying, um, she's racing against time to try and get a cure for Marco and at the same time try and get to this base, um, try and attract this base with radio messages in order to, you know, get them out of uh, harm's way and maybe find some hope for Marco. But as time's running out, Marco's transformation is getting deeper and deeper and then she's left with the realisation that she may have to kill her own husband in order to survive. So what happens at the end, I'm not going to tell you. That's as far as I'm going to go synopsis. If you want to know more, then please go out and see the film for yourself. Now my thoughts on this movie. Uh, this is one of my favourite uh, horror movies. Uh, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's so different and it does paint a very real um, uh, dilemma that a lot of us face. And that dilemma is euthanasia. Should you be allowed to take someone's life if their uh, quality of life is poor? And, you know, this film, yes, it is a zombie slash infected mutant film, but it does document the the um, dilemma of euthanasia. Marco is very slowly becoming this mutant, and they all know it's, it's a terminal sort of illness, and they all know what's going to happen. But, you know, Sonia keeps him going, even though he's going through so much pain. So, you know, uh, it, it is, you know, a euthanasia sort of film to me. And a lot of people say this is just another film to add to the pile of zombie films. I couldn't uh, disagree with that more. I think, you know, it's a very different and, you know, it's a very slow burning horror film. So if you like your jump scares and your gore, um, you know, thick and fast, then this is not for you because the gore and the scary moments are few and far between. But, yeah, it is a love story, but it also doubles as a story about euthanasia, and it's also a story about, you know, zombies, um, mutants, or whatever you want to call them. So there's a lot of depth to this film, and that's what I liked about it so much. Cinematography was brilliant. It's set in the snow, and it's a very isolated feel. It's kind of like Marco and Sonia are the center of the world, and, you know, you can't trust anybody else, and that really does help it. And you know, it's got a very claustrophobic sort of feel in that, you know, the, the building that they're in is their sanctuary and the outside world is evil. So it's all like closing in on them. And as the film progresses, that little um, sanctuary for them is getting smaller and smaller as the outside world is getting bigger and bigger. So, you know, uh, the cinematography was brilliant. The acting was really good. Uh, Francis Renault, who played Marco, he's been in a lot of French films. I really like that guy. Uh, he did a really good job playing the guy who was dying and he was very scared. He ended up wanting to die, but, you know, his wife, Sonia, played by Helen, I'm not even going to try and pronounce her last name, but she did a really good job as well. So the acting was great, although, you know, there's not a lot of characters in the film, so uh, there's not a lot of versatility in characters, but you really do get a sense of sympathy for the main two, and that's something that David Molay tried to do, and he succeeded, in my opinion. 
Now, the soundtrack, really good. Some of the soundtrack kind of reminded me of 28 Days Later. It's that kind of feel to it. Uh, but it has its own flavours, so don't worry. It's not a rip-off or anything. The ending I really liked. I thought it was very emotional. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but I thought it was a very good way to end it. Kind of leaves the door open for a sequel if they want to. Really hope they don't make a sequel because it really doesn't need one. Now, films like this should just be let alone. Um, you kind of want to, uh, you know, it, it leaves the, the door open to curiosity, you know, what exactly would happen afterwards. And, you know, it doesn't need a sequel, so hopefully it just stays the way it is. So, um, yeah, not a lot to hate about the film. There's some really good gore in it, especially at the start. There's a really memorable scene involving an ambulance and a woman. Um, uh, but the gore is not thick and fast, as I said. It's few and far between, but you can get through the um, the middle of it. The middle of it is basically just focuses on the love story between Marco and Sonia. So if you can get through that middle period, the ending and the start has some really, really memorable gore. So um, yeah, it is a very cruel film. It is a film about impending death and terminal illness. And if you want something a little bit different, I would highly recommend you check this one out. As I said, it's one of my personal favourites. I loved it. It's got a lot of replay value. And it's just a very nightmarish sort of atmosphere. The atmosphere, you know, it's great, very claustrophobic. And if this sounds like something for you, I would say definitely go out there and check it out. All right, guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next Friday, take care of yourselves. Uh, keep watching horror, and I'll see you later.